you ever been on a hot air balloon ride? I've not been on a hot air balloon ride. Something I will say something about that I just don't I feel a little uneasy about. Yeah, I don't trust balloons or baskets. Welcome to the internet, everyone watching. Welcome specifically to our YouTube channel and or Facebook if this video is uploaded to Facebook. Um, Brandon, it is probably late August when this video is coming out. Yes. And you know what happens when August is over in many parts of the world. That is when fall begins to happen. Mm -hmm. When September comes waving its jolly flag. <laughs> yes. Um, but here in the south of America... Mm -hmm. Uh, it is still the, the dead of summer. We'll be and that way till probably December. <laughs> yeah, in December it'll probably still be 70 degrees whenever I go outside and shoot on my new basketball hoop that my parents give me. Um, <laughs> but, it is fall. Yes. For, for many people, it, it's mm -hmm. approaching. It's almost time. And so we want to talk about some fall things. What mm -hmm. are we excited about? Uh, Brandon wants to say some stuff. Yes. And, and yes. some other listed things. That's just that's what we do in the fall. Brandon just likes to talk yeah. his way. I was just about to say that's stuff. what the show is. Mm -hmm. We should call it. Brandon wants to say some stuff. I do want to say some stuff. Uh, some episodes. I feel like for this tank talks, I'm the researcher. That's right. And my researcher, I mean, I just look you up see, some stuff five minutes beforehand and say, "Hey, how about I just throw this stuff out there?" We'll get better. See where it goes. We'll get better. Um, but I was gonna throw out some activities that I saw, and because he's just, just gonna get a feel for how you feel about it. Maybe our viewers at home, maybe they'll hit some nostalgia. Well, here's some things that they didn't know was a fall activity. Maybe they'll hate some things and comment about how they hate those things. But Keith, how do you feel about, you ever went apple picking in the fall? Yes. Last, sorry. <laughs> Let me go. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Last year, Lizzie, myself, and our buddies, buddy Aaron and, our, and his wife and our friend April mm -hmm. went apple picking. How do you like it? Uh, picked some apples. By the time we got there, it was kind of later in the season, mm -hmm. so many of the apple trees had been picked over. So after quite the trek into the back of the orchard, we found some um, we found some apples mm -hmm. that uh, were good to eat. But I mean, I don't really eat a, a ton of apples. It was it was really more to just go out there like a bunch. Did of, you either keep something. them or you have to give them back? <laughs> you can keep them. No, you oh. keep them. Yeah. I thought you had to give them back to the farmer afterwards. No, you get. You pay for what you pick. Huh. That sounds like a way more fun activity Your, your now. thing, you should be paid to go do that. <laughs> yeah. You're just going to work in the apple orchard. Um, no, we enjoyed it. I also got some really good apple jam or apple something, apple jelly. Did you make it yourself or you had to pay for that? No, I had to pay for that. Oh, okay. It was a souvenir. Um, I saw an activity called leaf peeping. I, I know it sounds <laughs> leaf diving, but I just pictured... So I'm going to throw it out like, have you ever dove in some leaves or have you ever just hid behind a leaf and like stalked someone? Um, another thing in the south is that it's warm enough for bugs to live. But yeah. It's little creepies and crawlies. So I, yes, I have, I've Gear dove bugs. into leaves before, but um, in doing so, got them red bugs. Yeah. And so I don't really like to do that. Yeah, the same way. So, have you ever got lost in a corn maze? Not gotten lost. I've experienced a corn maze. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess at the beginning of a corn maze, you are lost because you don't know exactly what where you need to go. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I didn't spend the night in a corn maze. But going to a corn maze, I did enjoy that. See, I've never been to a corn maze. Only to a, a bush maze. Okay. It's, it's just bushes instead of mazes. Me, yeah. Get down, pooty bear. It was not amazing. Um, wait, so, like a hedge maze. Yeah. Like in the movies. Yeah. It was at a plantation house. Okay. They I couldn't just, afford corn back you, in the day. I, I should understand for a second. Have you ever been on a hot air balloon ride? I have not been on a hot air balloon ride. Something, I will say, something about that I just don't, I feel a little uneasy about. Yeah, I don't trust balloons or baskets. Uh, have you went for a hike in the fall? I go hiking all the time. <laughs> As you can tell by my chiseled physique, I am quite a hiker. I, we have, I, I've gone hiking several times in the fall, and I do enjoy it. It's one of my favorite activities to do in the fall. I did not write it down whenever I was asked to write down my, my fall activities, but I do like hiking in the well, fall. Looks like according to this quiz that I just made up, you are a fall... I'm a folly boy. boy. Yeah. I'm a, a folly boy. Keith has fallen. I'm have a, you fallen? I'm a, I'm a second degree fall boy. <laughs> I guess now we can just uh, chit-chat about what what we like 
Okay. Fall. Tell me what you like about fall. I feel like I've answered some questions. Tell me, tell me what what Mr. Lorick is enjoying this fall. I am excited about it. I'm going to enjoy me a good number of pumpkin spice lattes. That's on my list as well. And you may be out there and with your beard. You may be listening to us. <laughs> your watch beard. This, your butt Not your beard, but your beard. You'll be stroking it, and you're probably shaving yourself with a hatchet. and thinking, like, these, these sissy, pansy boys like pumpkin spice lattes. I'm not watching it anymore. But this is... L- listen. This is going to set you free one day. If there's something that you like, and it ain't hurting nobody, and it's not bad... It's okay to like it, friend. If you're if you're a big burly man and you like a pumpkin spice latte, like us, you drink your pumpkin spice latte and don't you worry about what the world thinks. Picture one day just so we just see some guys arrested and he gets like, the boys on tape media. No, I I'm said fine. it's not hurting nobody and it ain't bad, is what I said. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can enjoy a pumpkin spice latte without being mm-hmm. without being uh, made fun of, and so can you. Yes. I think that the next thing I enjoy are the clothes. Like I, I prefer when temperatures are like sixty to seventy. It's that sweet spot mm. where if you want to wear short sleeves and shorts, you can do that. If you want to wear jeans, shirt, and a light jacket, you can do. It. If you want to bust out a hoodie, exactly, you can do that. No one's gonna criticize you. That was on my list as well. The way I wrote it was cool temperature, not sweating. You can nope. That's not what I wrote. That's a different one. Um, I I turned what you're saying as jacket if you want it. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a big. I like wearing jackets and I like wearing a good hoodie. I like wearing long pants sometimes. But also I like wearing shorts and a t-shirt like I'm doing now. And fall allows you to make that choice. Middle of the day, probably gonna take that jacket off at least where we live. Mm-hmm. And it'll be it's it's still kind of cool, but at night it gets kind of chilly. Ooh, it's like when you got a, a sweet long sleeve shirt on, mm-hmm. and in the afternoon. Business time, you gotta roll them sleeves up. Oh yeah. Then once once six o'clock rolls down, you just pull those puppies back down and you go into town. Why is the afternoon business time? <laughs> I, it's just it's what the, it's what nature's saying. All right, hey, I'm, nature's I'm business down. time. <laughs> nature's nature. uh, whatever you're doing with your sleeves rolled up, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just you keep them rolled up. Um, Some coal miners know what I'm talking about. You really, you've hit everyone. Really, you've mentioned everything. What was your thing about not sweating? I'm just saying, I am a sweaty boy. Uh-huh. I have turned myself, I've called myself a boy many times, but I am a real sweaty boy. I'm a sweaty I, man. I sweat a lot. It doesn't have to be hot for me to sweat. It's humid mm-hmm. here. It's humid in South Carolina. I sweat a lot. And in the fall, I get some solace. I get some peace. I get mm-hmm. some rest from the sweat. I don't have to worry about, oh, make sure I have an extra shirt because I'm trying to sweat through this one. Mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about when I walk down the street and, and, and when I'm working... Or whatever, get sweaty shirt syndrome. Mm -hmm. I wear a little jacket. It's nice. I just don't like sweating. And another thing is, it's so hot here is that I really can't enjoy the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Going outdoors now in this time of this this time of summer here, it's a chore. I don't want to go outside. I'm Mm -hmm. only going outside because there's something I have to do outside, or I'm going outside to swim in water to stay cool. Mm-hmm. But in the fall, I can actually enjoy the outdoors, especially in that sweet spot when it's cool, but they haven't hit daylight savings time. Mm-hmm. And so we are, it's, you get to like seven or eight of daylight and it's still kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Big fan. Can actually enjoy the outdoors because I live in such an outdoorsy place. Some truth right there. Yeah. So if you want to, you can leave a comment, tell us what you want to do in the fall. Yeah. Tell us the stuff we miss, some stuff you enjoy. Right. We certainly haven't hit everything that can possibly happen in the fall. And I would say you'd probably struggle at typing all that stuff out. Mm-hmm. Not you. Then. Um, but yeah, if you if you love the fall, this video is like the fall, so you should hit the like button. Mm-hmm. And you should leave us a comment about what you maybe what you love about the fall at Brennan Zip. You have anything else to talk about for us, Brennan? You got a little fun fact? You got a, a, a nugget of wisdom for... No? Just I got that face. That's what my gift was. Alright, whenever you're confused and you don't have anything to say, you just make this face and you turn. Maybe this maybe don't do this hand motion. <laughs> Depending upon where you are. Yeah, yeah. Do this that, hand motion. Yeah. Oh boy. This is a dance from something. Despite I don't know what it is from. Despite your hand motions, I'm still very happy to be doing this talk show with you, 
We'll see you in the next video. We didn't mention our names, but I'm, I'm Keith. I'm Brandon. Bye.